looking for? Do you have the margin out? Yes, I do. Mm. No, I don't have the margin out. I have. I can't believe it's not butter. Okay. I just cleaned that. Hey, Bootsy. 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 Hi, baby. All right, so it's almost Christmas, and here's our patio still. It's got Halloween decorations up. <laughs> so, yeah, I think we need to get them down at some point. Hey guys, it's already been a long day. Val has been sleeping most of the day. She's been um, trying to recuperate from all the fun we had last night. Uh, I have went shopping with my mom. Uh, I needed to get some stuff for the uh, reptile room. So since we have m more lights now for uh, more dragons and such. So I uh, went and got some timers. I think this is the smartest thing I've done. Because going up and down the stairs every day and make sure that the lights are on or off. There's been times I've forgotten. So um, this this will be probably one of the smartest things I've done. Um, I also got a couple of heavy duty extension cords so we, uh, we don't overheat them. Really Boomer? Are you really going to interrupt my fantastic monologue here? And as soon as I put the camera on you, there you go. All right, so I'm going to take them upstairs and uh, uh, make sure that the, everybody's got the uh, the lighting and the heat that they that they need. So uh, they're all nice and comfy. What are you doing? Checking shout out. Mike P. Mikey P. I asked him if he needed me to come over and help him do his tent t-shirt cleansing <laughs> yeah and he said yeah that would be extremely helpful so now you're the t-shirt exorcist <laughs> yep i'm the t-shirt exorcist you will come <laughs> and do a dresser cleansing <laughs> get rid of all those nasty t-shirts <laughs> All right, so here's all the critters. <sighs> These are uh, Nikki and John's. They're sound asleep right now. We haven't had the lights on at all because the wiring is not sufficient at this time. We're still working on them. We got the turtle here, um, turtle tortoise here. I don't know which is which. I have our two uh, bearded dragons right here. One of them doesn't look too well. I'm gonna wire in some um, timers and I got some heavy-duty uh, 16 gauge extension cord so that we don't overload this stuff. I have a, a um, uh, an outlet over here and I have an outlet over here. This one over here is not grounded and I'm not gonna be able to ground it today. I'm going to ground it to the uh, socket itself for um, until I can get that replace that because I know there's a ground wire in there so I've done enough wiring around here to know what's in the walls but that one I never got around to wiring and there's nothing on this wall so it's going to come out the two different walls one from either side that way I don't overload any particular um, uh, circuit Okay, one of the problems of having both lizards and cats is um, cats like climbing up on top of things, especially lizard cages. We have uh, always had a lot of issues with keeping the screens intact on the top. I'm going to have to uh, deal with a couple of them uh, in the next day or so. Uh, I'm also going to try and work on something to put over the screen that the cats are not going to like sitting on. It's probably just going to be little pieces of wood going across so um, they're less likely to sit on top. Tomorrow I'm going to be replacing uh, tops to these things but right now I'm concerned about their heat lamps and their uh, ultraviolet lights because these are things that they need and I'm going to just 
make sure we have enough screen to keep the cats out and I'll put stuff on top just in case they're getting a little too curious. So these are heavy duty timers and um, hopefully it'll take all the power that's back here. Pretty sure it will. Uh, I'm going to be plugging a, a strip into it, a six outlet strip, and hopefully that's not going to be too much of a problem. It says heavy duty. It uh, does have an overload switch so it'll just turn off if it's, uh, if it's too much. Alright, so I have two timers set up. One on either side of the room here. Uh, when 8 o'clock tomorrow morning comes around, it'll turn everything on on this side and the other timer will turn everything on on that side. At 6 in the evening, it'll turn back off. So again, 8 hours of, of daytime heat and it's something we don't have to worry about in case uh, we're not home in time. Uh, we don't want the lights on all night long. That's certainly not good for them. So they need their daytime and nighttime. And I think that was a good, uh, good thing to get. Tomorrow, I'm going to try to clean this place up because it's become a mess and try to replace or repair the uh, screens on top. And all will be good in lizard land. Yeah. Hello, everybody. Guess what time it is. The camera can't hear you when you talk that loud. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Guess what time it is? Oh, God. You said to talk louder. All right. <laughs> it's time for shout outs. We got a lot of them today since we were lazy last night. We weren't lazy. We had a beautiful night out with friends and family, and we just wanted to relax when we got home. What are you doing? Playing with my hat. <sighs> of course, yours makes noise. Mine makes even more noise. But... You said it. Okay, we have some shout outs. Thomas Plays HD. Welcome back. We've missed you, dude. Yeah. Emma Heaney. Welcome to the neighborhood. Betsy Wetsy, we haven't heard from you in a while. Hope all is well and welcome back. She said she's always been there, she just hasn't been making comments. So, glad to hear that. At least you're always watching. Jason Duncan, welcome to the neighborhood. Whitney Hot, thank you for the kind word. Amanda. Clardy. Clardy. <laughs> Welcome to the neighborhood. Nah. Poopy and sleep. They bought a house. And let's all send out hopes and prayers that their closing is done and they are moved in by Christmas. Because that would just be the best Christmas gift ever if they can move into their new house by Christmas. So, poopy and sleep. Here's some prayers and hopes for you guys to get moved in by Christmas. Raymond Big Dog. Welcome to the neighborhood and shout out to you. Put your arm back there so then when I lean back, you're not on my hair. There we go. What are you doing? Put your arm down and don't move what? it. On the chair. On the chair. Thank you. Okay. There. She's demanding. She doesn't know what she wants either. I know what I want. He just keeps putting his hair on. <laughs> I didn't know your nose made that noise. Go ahead. Bonnie Hazen. Welcome back, Bonnie. We sure as heck missed you, Daisy and Spooky. But we also want to send some prayers out to Bonnie. Um, they found a tumorous growth in her throat. So 
Let's all keep her in our thoughts and prayers as well. We missed you, Bonnie, and glad to have you back. Caitlin McDowell, welcome to the neighborhood. And Caitlin has a little bit of a story to go with her uh, joining us. She's been watching us for a couple of months now. And she went through three years of bullying and all types of bullying, cyberbullying, face-to-face bullying. She's been called every name in the book, physical bullying, everything. It was horrible. And during that time, also, her grandfather passed away. And her grandfather was her father figure in her life because she didn't have a father. So um, she's really a tough girl. She's 13 years old now. So thumbs up to you, Caitlin. Welcome to the neighborhood, Caitlin. Yep. Evelina12345. Did I say that right? Shout out to you and welcome to the neighborhood. Brandon Q, shout out to you and welcome to the neighborhood. Tracy Quick, welcome to the neighborhood. And now Tracy also has a little thing. She's been watching for a while as well, but she goes into periods where she can't watch because she gets horrible migraines. Mm. I can relate, Tracy. I am down and out sometimes with migraines that go on for days and there's really nothing you can do. So Tracy, I know how you feel sweetie and uh, hang in there. And I think that covers all of the shout outs. So you know what that means. What does that mean? Beep! It's time for the neighborhood community credit roll. Ow, you just bailed me. I can either bill you now or bill you later. I don't want any bills. No. No. We still only have, oh, we still only have three entries for the ugly sweater contest, which is going off tomorrow night, so you have all day tomorrow to send us your entries. So, and I'll, I'll be right back. I'm back! And I have a huge, I mean huge, 28 days. No injuries. Now ready, Crimson? Let's go! Yay! You are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you. We would not be here if it weren't for you all. Thank you so very much. We love you. Thumbs up.